How are we doing folks? Welcome back to another episode of Dead Cold and we have returned, like I said I was going to at the beginning of the year, we have returned to Lilyshaw Abbey. Uh, and I've come here with some fantastic people, as you can see here. I'm here with I Conjure, which is fantastic to finally meet them, it really is. What do you reckon this place? This, they've never been here before, which is fantastic. So, what do you reckon? It's massive. It's bigger than, bigger than uh, what I thought it would be. <laughs> and Steve's here as well. Sorry folks, me again. <laughs> no, don't ever say sorry mate. Don't ever say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's, uh, the four of us are going to uh, investigate this place. Obviously I came here last with, uh, with John and Luke and uh, Nigel and, uh, and uh, Orange and all the other guys from, uh, from Paralytic Activities. Uh, and we had a great old time here last time, even though like, I was quite tired to say the least, because we had a few um, swallies, as they like to call it. Um, so you can see there, see that uh, nice, uh, nice glowing candle in the background. Craig Maloney, I'm doing you a favour, you're advertising your product again. <laughs> the light outside, we've come to, the, uh, to this enclave, if you want to call it that, with the beautiful uh, ribbed ceiling. I mean, look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? absolutely fantastic. Um, I will actually uh, do some uh, narrative history on this place uh, because yet yeah, I still haven't actually uh, looked up a great deal of history on this place so there will be some history coming your way probably round about now. See you in a bit. Lily Shawl Abbey A beautiful ruin of a 12th century Augustine Abbey set in the peaceful rural setting of the county of Shropshire. The abbey was founded in 1143 at Lizard, but it moved to Donington a year later and then to Lillyshaw in 1148. The main buildings were constructed in the 12th and 13th centuries. Lillyshaw had gained great prestige, but was never big or wealthy. The abbey was dissolved by Henry VIII in 1538 and sold. It then became a family home by converting parts of the abbey into a residence. The residence was fortified by the Royalist Leveson family during the Civil War and had to withstand a parliamentary troops attack in 1645. The house was badly damaged in the attack and was never fully repaired, but thankfully some of the superbly crafted stonework still stands. There are quite a few accounts of people witnessing ghostly apparitions of monks in and around the abbey, but one account by a local photographer named Lawson Clout seems to be well documented. He frequented the ruins to take pictures for his website. On this occasion he was photographing the area of the processional doorway on the plain non-decorative side when he caught sight of a figure walking towards him from the sacristy doorway. He froze and as the figure got closer to him it appeared to smile. It was a man dressed in a long black robe. The figure spoke and Lawson felt a sense of calm flow over him and so he sat on the grass. He then tried to take a photograph but as he did the figure moved away and started to fade as it headed towards the wall directly to the right of the sacristy doorway and then it was gone. So as I say folks we are in this, uh, this fantastic little enclave here whilst there's still a little bit light outside I mean the, the light is gradually fading but we're in this fantastic enclave um, and there is a sign on there just near that can just near my candle uh, which tells you that it used to be, this is part of the cloisters. Oh, the Slipe or Parlour. Great name, Slipe. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, part of the, it uh, was part of breaking the art. Yes, this is the, uh, this is the place where they would come and talk. So they weren't allowed to talk in the cloisters areas. And um, he used to come in here and have a chat. Probably discuss stuff, drink beer. There's no what else went on here. But uh, yeah, I'd like to actually call out to um, to the any spirits that may reside here that were part of this fantastic abbey. Um, 
we come here tonight with, uh, with an open mind and we welcome you to walk with us as we walk through this fantastic abbey and hopefully you'll make some kind of conduct with us so if there's anybody here at all that would like to have anything to say do anything at all apart, apart from the bats that are in the roof I can hear them chattering yeah. tell you that or my K2 is going off <laughs> is there anybody here that would like to walk through this, uh, this enclave maybe set one of the devices off on your way through knock one of the balls make it flash you are very welcome to walk down here. You can whisper into the mic. Maybe you like the candles that are on the side there. If you go near one of them, I would like to think that it would actually go out. I've got two on each side, flickering away. If there are any spirits in here with us, make yourself known. We come here in peace. I think it is Buzz Lightyear. We don't mean you any harm at all, and none of these devices will harm you in any way at all. They'll just let us know where you are. If you touch one of the balls, they'll light up. If you're really good, you could go to one of them candles and turn it out for us. Just touch it, go near to it. Maybe you could go to the green light that's on the floor over there. If you go over to it, I want to get it in there. If you go over to it, that's all it'll do. Just let us know if it's in front of it. This is going to be fun tonight. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. 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 Can you give us a sign you're here, please? We all know it doesn't have to be the dead of night for you to be around. We'd like to think so, we'd like to think so anyway. If spirits are to be, if ghosts and spirits are to be believed, they should be around at any time of the day or night. All we'd like you to do, spirits, is to walk right through the middle of us. The bat's directly above me. I it's being picked up on camera, that might be that, that, that might be quite a weird sound to, uh, to have. Were there any monks here? I think it was a monks, this was a monks place, rather than nuns. Yeah. And the monks used to make beer here. Yeah? If so, you might be able to still smell someone, Steve. Only bucks finest IPA. Yeah. <laughs> Go around and give them a good sniff. <laughs> Cavities there, isn't it? A bat base. A bat base. A bat <laughs> cave. Bat cave, yeah. There you go, Lily. Bat watch. Bat watch. Bat watch. <laughs> 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 Maybe you could go to the bat cave and get a bat watch. Yeah. 
things you get up to in paranormal investigations. <laughs> Just to help pass the time. <laughs> Been some fantastic activity in the past that I've actually seen here on videos from honest people as well. So, you know, you can get some activity here. If you feel you don't want to be around this moment, obviously we're going to be here for quite a few more hours. So please, you, you are more than welcome to, uh, to walk around with us. Right, we're going to go next door, folks. Um, just next door. Uh, so we really get nothing here, so... But we we'll, could return to this place a bit later on, once the lights go down altogether. In a bit. We went into the next room to investigate with Kim and Chris. You'll be able to watch that section on their video. Afterwards, they went to the refectory, while Steve and I checked out the spiral staircase. So folks, Steve and I have come to the spiral staircase. There were lots of uh, old graffiti in here as well, uh, some some dating back to the 1700s, 1700s. Some where they've scrawled graffiti and carved it into the uh, into the red stone. It's sort of a bit of a reddish hue to this stone, which is very nice to see. To be honest, it's, again local murdered. local stone. Ghost Chewbacca is chirping away there down below. We saying murdered and burnt. Burnt. But I, I'm not going to say as I said before. I'm not going down this burnt thing again. The torch is not in my pocket, and I am not going to be set. What was that? Oh, it's my bag. <laughs> sc Murdered. Scrape a noise there. It sounded like it was in the, in the back there more than... Yeah. I think it was my... Uh, it was my bag settling. This staircase um, has got a bit of a history of having quite a bit of activity in, the, in this staircase. Um, again, K2 action. Um, there are some talks of, uh, of um, people being pushed down the stairs. It's a very narrow staircase and a very steep one, spiral, spiral like, I'll show you it um, when we go back down. And um, yeah, so we've just come here. We're gonna have a bit of a call and out session here. See if we can pick up anything up. Got a few gadgets kicking around, we've got the K2s, uh, REM pod further down the staircase, so we'll hear it if it goes off. Oh, a ball I just stood on. Steve stepped on his own balls. Insert your own pun there. <laughs> I'd like to make a call out to any spirits that might reside within these walls on this staircase. If you'd like to come forward, you would like to make a tap or a noise of any kind then please do if you're the joker on the stairs that likes to push people down well here I am disrespectful you think so <laughs> okay let's uh, put that in a different way then Come and touch us on the stairs and make your presence known. Maybe in not such a physical way, but just, just let us know that you're here with us. Could it be the sensation of being pushed? That's what people might feel more than anything, more than anything I think, because obviously, I'm not saying people don't get the feeling of, you know, there might be somebody behind them pushing them. But it's a very tight, steep staircase. Um, disrespectful. No, I don't think we're being disrespectful. I'd like to know in which way we're being disrespectful. I think it will find us very respectful. Of everywhere we go, we always respect where we go to. There might have been other people here that have been disrespectful. Not here. Not our bag. If you can hear anything in the background, there is actually um, 
there's a pub in the distance, and uh, as it's as it's such a as it's such a very still night, the sound is carrying. I've got obviously like a band on there, and um, you might be able to hear it. But it is close to kicking out time, so with any luck, it'll stop soon. If there's a spirit here within the walls of this staircase, could you uh, could you make a tap for me? Could you copy my taps? Angry. Why are you angry? Yeah. Would you like to explain as to why you were angry? Understand the need to be angry. There's no need to be angry around us. Are you uh, are you angry because of people visiting here? You don't want people here. Ask them the same old questions. Yeah. Same old questions, night after night. Absolutely angry. Absolutely fed up of hearing the same old garbage. I'd probably be quite angry as well, to be fair. I'd be saying, for God's sakes, will these people just leave me in peace, for God's sakes, eh? Sling your hook, as they might say, from where I am. Would very, very much like to actually prove the existence of the afterlife. That is the, uh, that is the main goal. And to wherever else that is. Just to prove something, some hundred percent proof that something does exist after we all die. Does the energy that we all have in, in us carry on somewhere else? Is the energy that we have able to be intelligent enough to actually communicate with the living? Maybe not tonight. Is there anybody else here that would like to make the presence known? You come walking down the stairs. Walk past us, come and sit us. Hot. Hot is it definitely not, that's for sure. It's, uh, it's quite cool there now, to be fair. Come and touch Steve on his ear. Elderly. Steve is... Elderly. <laughs> Elderly. Say, just gonna yeah, say, right, rub it in. Yeah, yeah rub it in, rub it in. Yeah, they've got your, they've got, they've got your number, mate. Yeah. <laughs> My days are numbered. <laughs> Pension coming soon. Steve is gallantly supporting the uh, Three Spies Paranormal T-shirt. I didn't give him permission to use this, to be honest. He's, 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 he's advertising for the uh, for Lee and gang. Other paranormal companies are available. <laughs> they definitely are, mate. <laughs> So we're going to come in here, which apparently is the, uh, was the old rectory. You can see it's all gated off there now. You can't, you can't go through there, unfortunately. Um, interesting though.
funny how they still use that word in uh, colleges and universities, don't they? Yes, they do. Refectory. Refectory. Sorry, no. I said rectory, didn't I? Refectory. Right, folks. We have come to the a part of the abbey called the refectory. Ref, I can't even see it. See Ref, it? Refectory. That. What he said. I'm close. Good. Good. I'm glad you're close. I've got a few things set up. I've got the candles set up and behind me as well on the fence. Prison. Prison. Mm -hmm. There's bars. Well, we have got bars around here. You see there's, uh, there's bars all the way around here, folks. Do you feel you are imprisoned in this place? Just because there's bars here doesn't mean you were imprisoned. Imprisoned, sorry. Or does it make you feel trapped? Or if you're standing outside the refectory, Walk through that archway, come and join us. Prison. Okay, walk through the archway and come and join us in the prison. I don't want to be disrespectful. It's funny, I never caught her on camera, but when I'm looking beyond the camera, I don't know if it's just because I'm, I'm cutting things out with the air. Uh, almost looks like there's a mist there behind in that doorway. Yeah through the camera lens. Strange. Yeah, but just when I was panning the camera around, I, I obviously I was looking through the lens and yeah. it felt as if something moved in that direction towards that doorway near you. Interesting. There's something in here. <laughs> and I've got me back to this. This mound of sticks that's behind the fence. And there's, I think there's a, a wildlife of some kind is actually in that big bundle of... Um, oh, I just heard a click. Was that? In the doorway there. This mound of sticks that's behind the fence. And there's, I think there's a... A wildlife of some kind is actually in that big bundle of. Um, and I just heard a click. Was that? In the doorway there. And didn't Chris and Kim say they heard? Yes. Yeah, I heard it just inside that doorway. And it was quite a loud click. I, I heard the click, but I thought it was you. No. It was on the ground. Mad. So it was at ground level. I shouldn't think you're making that clicker noise. Could you make the clicker noise again, please? It just did. <laughs> I shouldn't think you're making that clicker noise. Could you make the clicker noise again, please? It just did. <laughs> I didn't hear it. It was not so loud that time. It was more outside than in. Again, you can never. Obviously, we were in out. You're in the. You're in right in the right in the countryside. You can never, never ever rule out wildlife. I mean, the amount of noises that are coming from that bundle of sticks there is unbelievable. Whether it's just the wind rustling through it because the leaves are very dry or there could be anything in there from hedgehogs to Bacchus. frogs whatever beetles haunted haunted we hope so haunted well I'd like to give us some some better indication than the ghost tube app telling us so. We'd like to see or hear 
some kind of evidence that there is something here. After little or no activity within the refectory, we decided to try the Honeytone Amp and SB7 Spirit Box. I went through this recording quite a few times and found very little, if anything, so I'm not going to show you the whole thing. This is what I did find, but it's more than likely nothing. Maybe you don't even need the radio to actually talk through it. Maybe it was strong enough to make, a, make your own voice through the speaker. Which is the larger of the two black boxes. Too late. What was that? How many of you are here? Can you give us a number? I don't want to stop quite yet. Unfortunately, I Conjure had to go, and we wouldn't be too long behind them. But we had to investigate one more place first. The large window where the altar would have once stood, and many sermons would have been preached from. But first, we were very lucky to meet one of the furry winged residents of this magnificent abbey. What? <laughs> that is that's a long eared bat. A giant moth in the corner. What I believe we have here, my friends, is the grey, long-eared bat. It is quite rare to see these. There are two species of long-eared bats found around the British Isles. The more common is the brown. And if this is the grey, it is an absolute treat to see it, because I have never seen one before with my own eyes. And out he comes. Hello. I hope you enjoyed this little furry thing as much as I did. Get that bloody torch out of my face. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Straight in the hole. <laughs> he, didn't want him, he didn't want that, did he? He didn't want that torch in his Not face. At all. Right. Oh. Me and Steve are going to uh, have another last session here. We're up by the big, um, the big window behind us. I don't know if you can really see that, to be fair. It's uh, a really, really... Let me just turn this around. So, I just want to show you this, this fantastic... Beautiful thing. Just saw a bat come through there. <laughs> that was good timing. <laughs> Great timing, that was. So we've got a few things set up. It's now one o'clock in the morning. Um, this, with the size of this window, we believe that this would have been the altar position. As they always used to have those really big windows behind an altar. So I've got, a, I've got the candle set up. We've got uh, a few gadgets on there as well. And we're gonna see if we can get something here on the last session at Lily Show Abbey. So I'd like to call out to the uh, to the spirits of this 
be a fantastic abbey to hopefully lend us their voice in one last time before we have to leave and make our journey home. So I implore the spirits to be around us, around what we believe would be the altar right here, to make their voices heard, make their presence felt. Come forward, please. We welcome you around us, and we will hopefully might be able to set off one of these gadgets that we have hanging around, black boxes, all that kind of thing. Just to let us know that you're here. I hear you. You hear me? Well, if you do hear us, I see the thing I always say. If you hear us, or you can see us, come forward. If there are any spiritual, godly people here, come forward and make your presence known. Come forward and either set up sort of some of these devices. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time left. We don't. Let's get into that time of the night or the morning that people always say probably around about the best time. I don't tend to believe that. I no. Think I don't any believe. time is a good time. I don't believe it. I don't believe in this 3 a.m. No. witching hour malarkey, no. golden hour, whatever you want to call it. If we can get anything, you know, even the feeling of something. Near, near us, you know, in between me and Steve, where we are at the moment. Yeah. Even to get that feeling of something here, but in all honesty, I've not actually felt anything here tonight. And, uh, the atmosphere is calm. It's, it's very calm. Very calm, like the weather. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be great to see any of these devices go off. I'd love to see one of these candles go out. I'm sure you had candles all over this altar and obviously around this area at one point why don't you come try and blow them out hmm? let's see if you can blow them out when I mean, you look at that down there look at this for, look at this for a shot Steve Look at my look at my oh, viewfinder. That. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? Any spirits gonna walk into view right now, walk right through my field of view now. That would be superb. When you love to see a shadow just walk through that now. <laughs> shadow, ball of light. Right, folks, we're going to wrap this up. Um, it's been fantastic to come back to Lily Show, and I said I would do it And uh, when I created the poll in January. So we've been back. It's been fantastic to be here. I don't think we've really got nothing, but that's irrelevant. It's, uh, it was just great to be here anyway. So until the next one, we'll see you in a bit.